The barrel was too heavy to move. It was a very hot and blackened stone. These are Georges' shades, right? Has he been here? Georges! Where is he now? What's that? It looks like the stone we bought from Paris, but it's different. Yes, it has a carving of an eagle. That clinches it. Georges must have found this stone in the Caribbean and managed to hide the stone when the village was attacked by Karzak's men. I hope to God that Georges was all right. Where's Georges? Georges has been here, right? He was pointing to the smoldering remains of a hut. It was too hot to pick up. There was nothing I wanted to ask him. I just didn't have the strength to tip that barrel. Hey, Shorty, make yourself useful and help me with this barrel. Thanks. It was the Coyote Stone, the original stone that I found in Paris. I had the Coyote and Jaguar Stones, Titipoco had the Eagle, according to the Shaman. That's all we needed to deal with Tezcatlipoca. Pity he hadn't any ideas for dealing with Karzak. What is it? Where are you pointing? We arrived to find Georges being led up the stairs. We clearly didn't have much time. I had been seen. Bonjour, Capitaine. <laughs> Only Sergeant, pretty one. What are you doing here? Uh... Auntie, I mean, La Presidenta. La Presidenta is your aunt? Mais oui. Anyway, Auntie said I could watch what Cousin Raoul was doing. But you're not Quaramondian. No, I was raised in France. It's a long story. May I go up the pyramid? Ah, uh, we have strict instructions not to let anybody pass. Oh, but I've told you who I am. Surely nobody would mind. Well... Oh, please, I'd be ever so grateful. I tell you what, I'll ask Pablo if it's okay for you to go up. If Pablo saw me, I'd be dead. Uh, no, it's not worth the bother. I'm not really that interested in their stupid pyramid anyway. Well, okay. It's men's work up there anyway. I'll just run along and play around here, okay? Okay, you do that. It looked like Karzak was using Quaramontean troops and local Indians as his guards. I could think of no reason why I would want to pull a heavy torch from the ground. I could think of no reason why I would want to pull a heavy torch from the ground.
Would you like some chocolate, Titi Poco? It's good vintage. <laughs> You're smarter than you look. How did you hook up with a maniac like Karzak in the first place? Karzak? Whoop whoop, loco! Yes, he scares me too. The scaffold gantry went all the way up the pyramid. Titi Poco, I have an important job for you. Take this rope to the top of this scaffolding and throw it over the top. Rope. The motor spluttered into life. Titi Poco, when I tell you, I want you to copy what I am doing. Copy. Okay? Copy. George, I realized those bastards were going to sacrifice George to Tezcatlipoca over my dead body. Thankfully, George was the only one to notice me. Where are they? The eclipse is about to happen. Patience. Your mother will be here soon and Karzak will be close behind. Just keep the Yankee covered and leave the worrying to others. Yeah, Raoul. The maniacs were going to sacrifice Georges. Shut up, Stobar. Just shut up. Calm down. He's no threat. Hey, Raoul, why don't you do us both a favor and shoot Pablo? You're very funny, Stobar. I haven't forgotten Marseille. When Karzak cuts your heart out, I'll be the one laughing. I'll bet I'm not the only one due for the chop around here either. Hey, Raoul? I'm warning you. Raoul was a bundle of raw nerves. I hoped Georges wouldn't push him too far. If Pablo had seen me, he'd have killed me. It was as simple as that. Do you still have that lighter gun you pull on me so amusingly? Nothing's wrong. I dropped uh, a cigarette, but everything is under control. 
I'll have the fire out in a minute or two. What's that? What's happening? Trouble. Give it up. The pyramid's surrounded. I'll find out what the trouble is. Watch Stober doesn't pull any tricks. If he does, shoot him in the head, not through the heart. Why does it matter? He'll be dead either way. His heart belongs to Tezcatlipoca. That's not true. We just had dinner a couple of times. No, that's wrong. Drop the gun or I'll shoot! Please, don't hurt me! Don't worry yourself, my finger isn't loaded. Nico, what are you doing here? Firstly, I'm going to set Georges free, and then screw up Karzak's scheme. No, I... I can't let you do that. Karzak has promised me power. Raoul, wake up. The only thing Karzak has on offer is death. You may want to ask Oubie, except you can't. Karzak murdered him. You're lying. Oubie is in Europe. Sure he's in Europe. In London, on a mortuary slab with two bullet holes in him. But Karzak promised. When he frees Tezcatlipoca, we'll all be granted great power. Listen to her, Raoul. Karzak's insane. I, I, I don't know. I, I need to think. You've let your mother do your thinking for you up to now. You need to think for yourself. Your mother and Karzak think alike. There's only one expendable member of the plan left, and that's you. Mother would never betray me. Oh, I'm tired of trying to reason with you, Raoul. Titi Poco. Watch this man, and if he makes a move, shoot him with your gun. sacrifice you by accident. You have no idea how glad I am to see you. They were going to cut your heart out. I think I can guess. We can save the happy reunions for later. We've got to move. Come on! We're safe. This is a dead end. We're toast. I know, Tilipoco. I'm not too happy here either. He knows this is Tezcatlipoca's pyramid. The house of the enemy. Well, we can't stay here like rats in a trap. And we can't go out the way we came in. It would be suicide. I'll have a look round. Maybe there's another way out. In the meantime... Take this. It's the Coyote Stone. It might bring you luck, I hope. You managed to recover the stones from the village? Then we might have a chance after all. Incidentally, what would Titipoco have done if Graciento had moved? Titipoco? Nothing. He's given up violence. Georges? Yeah? There was nothing I wanted to talk to Georges about just then. Oof. The lever was very difficult to move and appeared to do nothing anyway. Georges? Yeah? That lever didn't seem to do anything. Know what I say? Nil desperandum. Georges, sometimes I could just punch you. Still no good. Georges? Yeah? 
George, I can only pull one lever at a time, and I think we need to pull both together. Okay, I'm up for that. This sacrifice! Where is it? Nico was here with Fittipoco. They set him free. I couldn't stop them. You idiot! I should have strangled you at birth. Fittipoco's gone soft. He wouldn't have hurt you. I know that. The darkness of this honey is almost upon us, and we have no sacrifice to appease this Catlipoca. Have you any idea what your incompetence will cost us? I think so. And I'm glad. What? The Mayans weren't fools. Tezcatlipoca should stay exactly where they put him. Finally got some backbone from somewhere, huh? Shame it's so late in the day. I'd rather die than see you and Karzak with that devil's power. Fine, we're still a sacrifice short. See, the eclipse begins. Pablo, kill him! Tezcatlipoca can feed upon his yellow heart. Nico was right all along, but it's still not too late. Come on then, Pablo. Let's see who sacrifices who. What place is this? I was in some sort of strange room. Tiles and dials. The priests who designed this place must have known how to use them. I was going to have to figure it out for myself if I ever wanted to get out of here. The room was dominated by an enormous device, decorated with the usual Mayan motifs. It held two great discs, each covered in glyphs. The tile moved slightly. The dial didn't want to move.
Et voilà, George once told me that there's an act to finding secret doors. I think I'm beginning to get the hang of it. So I thought, this is it, you know? This is true love. Anyway, I have to leave for a few weeks, and when I come back, what do I find? Uh. Damn right. And with who? Labano. That creep. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Oh, heck. Looks like another dead end, Titty Poco. Any ideas? I was hoping for something a little more constructive. Never mind, I'll have a look around. Look, I need to light this torch. Can you do something clever with a couple of sticks or flint and tinder or... a cheesy novelty cigarette lighter, as it turned out. Well, 
There was nothing else to do around here, so I pulled the lever. Nothing's happened. Oh, I hate that. Don't you hate that? Ah! Did it, Poco? Oh, my... Whoa! Great. I had no idea where I was, no idea where the others had got to, and time was running out to stop Karzak. Still, I wasn't dead yet, so it wasn't all bad news. A stone slab that must have weighed tons sealed the door. Charming. Lovely. Looks like my school gym teacher. The statue looked like it doubled as an incense burner. Every time I think this place can't get any spookier, it does. How rapouche. The carving reminded me of Lane for some reason. There was nothing I could do to the carving, even if I'd wanted to, which I didn't. Yes, finally, I'm out of here. Once more into the unknown. Onwards and downwards, Mr. Stobart. This was it. The Pyramid's central chamber. Its dark heart. Once before in my life, I'd stood in front of a door and thought, this is it. If I go through there, I'm going to die. I'd been wrong then. I hoped I was wrong now. This was the door that led to the central chamber and the smoking mirror.
Happiness is an inside job. 